Tala. That's a beautiful song by the one and only Le Vixa. This guy is straight from Uganda. Uganda. They call it Uganda. 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 Mm. And he's here with us today. Le Vixa, Karibu. Asante sana. Yeah. Oh no, you know that one. Ah, he knows. He knows even Swahili. This I guy. Not <laughs> teach you Swahili. No, teach me, please. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, by the way, loves Kenya so much. I you can know. tell. He knows Swahili, eh? For real, like you, how, what, what, what other language, what other word you know? Uh, Swahili, I can hear. Oh, but you I can, can speak. I can hear, but I can't speak that well. Yeah. But I'm learning every day because I love Kenya so much. So yeah. I'm learning every day. Okay. Mm. Karibu Kenya. It's really uh, nice to have you here. It's nice to see you again. I know, bro, it's been a while, eh? I know. Until okay. last, uh, last I saw this guy was in your concert, eh? Yeah. In Uganda. And we even had a brief, I mean, uh, um, um, a live from there. You, you remember? Guys eh? did live from Let me tell Uganda. you something. Um, this guy, Jazade, what you know, you know, Ali Jaza Stadium, eh? And then He's people you feel love the you. He's saying you the stadium. <laughs> you can hear, by the way, you can see. Oh, you can. It, it was because of their contribution. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, you're doing people, people, people still love you guys. And mm -hmm. I, will, I will thank DJ Mo and the team. Mm. You really blessed me. Asante sana. Thank you so much. And I'm here to tell the Kenyans if they don't know what you had come for, yes. I have a charity organization called 92 Hands. And we're building a school. Mm. It's so the school the is almost done. 92 Hands. I was okay. born in 1992. Oh. So that's why okay. it's called 92 Hands. Mm. Okay. Where were you? I mean, uh, <laughs> 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 anyway, these guys really did an amazing job. Yeah. DK Kwenyebi, Top Kid, um, Aremba. Mm. and many many other guys mm. thank you so much people Anytime still you love go. you guys mm. and this year again it is happening you know, we there definitely and so you, the concert you, is basically to raise money for the for yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the, the, other for the concert, charity i've been my dedicated my music charity everything okay. i do back home mm -hmm. so uh last year we were building a school okay at primary school from prime from top class to p7 Seven. So it is okay. almost done in a, in, a, in a place called in, in, a, in Kalamoja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's a district called Nakapiripit. It's a poor, poor, poor place. Okay. So we're building a school there. <coughs> and it's me. almost done. Then from there, I went to the Europe. I also had another tour where we got all the money. And mm. But I really appreciate your energy, guys, and your love for mm -hmm. my country. That's yeah. great. What yeah. motivated you to get into, into charity <coughs> in the first place? Um, me, I thought, when I was growing up, I told God, the day you bless me, Mm -hmm. I'll give back, though I didn't know I was going to give back to God. But the more I got to know God, I learned that the only way I can serve God is through serving his people. Mm. The way I, the, I love God by loving people. So that is now what I learned. Mm. Yeah. So what I did after getting this money from the music, I know that I was like, I'm going to give back. So why I did that? Because me, I grew up on the streets of Kosovo. It's a big slum in Kosovo. I left home when I was nine. Mm. I joined the streets of Kosovo. Life was not easy, so I was loved. I was people of Kosovo used to take care of me. Okay. You they were basically me. living on the street. Yes, they fed me. Mm. <coughs> so I didn't know how to give back to that. So when when I got a breakthrough, I started living that life. Uh, we have a lot of campaigns, health feeding, because of every Christmas we feed many people in my community. Mm -hmm. Last year we fed over 3,000 people. Wow. They get everything to eat on Christmas. We have, um, we have kids we have, we have took back to school. We have also, we have built two houses so far for the widow mothers mm -hmm. in my community mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. We have now a school for women. It's mm -hmm. called As For Women. I think you saw the, the campaign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As For Women, we have <coughs> over 60 women uh, who are not educated, who are sick with HIV, AIDS. So we are trying to help them to stand and see how we can give hope to, the, to, to them. Mm -hmm. And it has really done so good. We have started some small businesses for them, and they are now working. Okay, yeah, that's great. So it is happening. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Glory to God. That's great. So tell us a lot about your music. You started singing. <coughs> were you still on the street when you started singing? Were, were yeah, you? music got me from the streets. Mm -hmm. I lost a brother. Uh, there, there's a there's a there's a job I used to do in Kosovo. I used to be their pool attendant. So one day, in Kosovo, it rains. Uh, did I take you to Kosovo? No, but we went near there, the, yeah, near, yeah. near, near, near oh. the, the, that place. So whenever it rains, floods take over. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I used to sleep under the pool table where I used to work. Okay. So one day I got the tent, which used to cover the pool, and covered myself because it had rained. So my boss phoned me there. When he phoned me there, it was, it was not good at, for me at mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. So he had to chase me away. I left that job. So when I left the job, I started stealing with, from, from people with my guys. So when we stole from these guys, one of my guys was killed. It's called Godi. Mm. Everyone in Uganda who knows Levickson, they know me and Godi, how I lost him. 
So I was next. Okay. So I started taking care of my life now. Mm -hmm. I got to know that life is, you know, I need this life. Mm -hmm. If I don't change, mm -hmm. I'm gonna die like Godi. <clears throat> so I'd taken some good days, nothing to eat. I go to a church where I saw when you perform, you're given some command and all that. Mm -hmm. So I went there to perform. When I reached there, I was given the platform by the MCs. That was not easy because these guys, you had to first sample them and you'd be given the platform. Mm -hmm. So they gave me the platform to cut the long story short. How I joined the music industry, I was 13 years old by, by then. <coughs> How I joined the industry. There's a man called Christopher Abelas, who is a big legend in Uganda. The man who discovered all the baby cools and all the big artists mm -hmm. in Uganda. So when I was leaving stage, this guy told me, Kido, wait for me. Me, I thought, this guy's going to add me money because my mission was to get money. When I performed, I was given money. Okay. People gave me money. So when he came down, he told me, me, I thought he was going to give me money because that was my mission. So he told me, you're going to help us carry these timbers and all that. I was like, no, boss, I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Like, we're going to beat you if you don't do it. Mm. Not, uh, not knowing that my life was changing. So I helped these guys, we carried the timbers. I went to the studio where they were gonna start a studio. When we reached there, he told me, kiddo, the way you look, you don't have where to stay. But because we were tough, I didn't want to associate with them. Mm. I was like, these guys are gonna beat me. This is what got me from home. Mm. <laughs> I don't want to go through <coughs> it again. So the guys were like, we want to give you a place to stay. You start sleeping in the studio we are building. We are giving it to you. You sleep here. You take care of it. You clean everything and sleep here. And you'll be looking for food, but we have given you where to stay. Mm. So my life changed like that. Okay. I go to studio. I meet big artists. All the baby coolies to come. I wash their shoes, all the things. Mm. I get to meet with artists, big, big stars. So I, get, I develop this love of music. As a guy, I lost my big brother. He's called Mark Elvis in 2013. Mm -hmm. He died in Tanzania. So he told me, like I really enjoyed his music. From, from there, I got so attached to this gospel music. So I started, I started singing. I recorded my first album when I was 13 years old. Okay. It was called Usin Peter. You see how much I love Swahili. Oh, Usin wow. Peter. And how did you even know how to speak Swahili then? Were you learning the language? Peter Mal used to speak a lot of English okay. mm. and Kid Fox. Mm. And a lot of Swahili. 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 Then also the Mr. Googs used to come to you. Yeah, know. very, yeah. And, uh, the brother to Daddy Oi? Rafton. Yes, also Rafton. They used yeah, to associate they, with Christopher Abelas and, and Christopher, Peter Yeah, Mons. they did so yeah. many collabs from each Yeah, so, so like that. Mm. So I get to know some Swahili there. Usini Peter means never pass me by. Yeah, yes. never pass me by. Yeah, yes. so, yeah. Like what next? That. A lot. Yes. God did it. God has been so good. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say, but God from there I've recorded music. I got my first, first breakthrough song mm. when I was in my VAC, mm. P7 VAC, primarily 7. Mm. That's when I got to be known. By that, by that time, I started with the name Leviticus. Yeah. I even came here mm. in 2012. Mm. It was a big, big story when I came in Kenya. I came, first I was arrested at the border. We used the bus. <laughs> <laughs> we were coming for, I think, group. Yes. When we got here, we didn't know anybody. So we had to find a way, mm. <laughs> getting where to stay. And we're here for two days. So we spent some time at uh, the, back uh, the back bus park. Yes. <clears throat> uh, bro. I'm telling you, that's your other soft spot for Kenyans, eh? I know. Eh? It's been a <laughs> while. It's been a journey. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. That's great. So, You're shooting a video today. Yeah, shooting a video called Ponya. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, <coughs> again Swahili. Yes, yeah, Swahili. Wow. I love, I love Kenyans. Now my 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 fans back in back home, they are they asking me, is, are you planning anything with Kenyans? Do you have a Kenyan girlfriend? Yeah. What is why is everything Kenyan? Yeah, why are you coming to Kenya? Now even home? even last year when we had over eight stars mm. from Nairobi, mm. I was like, let me see what is happening. Yeah. <laughs> and as bottom line, I feel like Na Kenya is a good place. Mm. You understand? You're the right. fact that Kenya yeah, is a good place. the fact that even. Gospel music is well appreciated. Back home, mm -hmm. there has been a war. I think in the history of Uganda, the first gospel artist to be nominated with the Bebe Cools, mm -hmm. the Bobby Wines, <coughs> the Radios, the Camillo in the same category. Okay. And the other day, actually won Best Artist. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I've won uh, Best Gospel Artist for the last six, five years, I think, wow. in Uganda. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it has been a journey, you understand? Wow. Mm -hmm. Being on the same stage with the Camillo with the Christian artist was a big, 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 mm -hmm. big fight. Mm -hmm. But today, when we kid is in Uganda, or any other big artist, mm. at least I'll perform. 
all we can say is katonda mulonji amen god is good unaona <laughs> 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 you see you see i'm also okay, learning your language you can yeah. learn a, a word or two yeah. Yeah. alafu nikuje ni flows can i teach you one yes mm. please teach me one webale yeah webale webale thank you thank you yeah, it means webale yeah yeah, yeah uganda is webale for bringing like the big sun to kenya <laughs> thank you so much for coming and thank and, you for, uh, having for making me. kenya your second home amen yeah <laughs> and maybe you should get a are you married No no no. Okay maybe sh- he should get married uh, 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 in <laughs> Kenya. To hook up. I know eh. <laughs> so now this is it. You have two songs that you need to play for us eh? Yes. Um actually to perform for 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 us. Let me yeah. uh, this is song called um Turn the replay. Yeah. This song people love it so much here. Mm. Amen. And also you have a new video a uh, new, new song that you're shooting today yeah. called Ponya. Yeah, yeah. So basically you can perform that for us and then uh, we say it's we That's it. Okay before that I want to thank DJ Mo. Mm for the support no problem and this guy is amazing thank you so much for playing my music i saw dj bob mm. you guys you mean a lot to us Anytime and bro. not only playing the vixen because the gospel is in uganda is not all about the vixen but playing <coughs> the ugandan industry mm. we appreciate that Asante god bless sana. you so much <laughs> 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 thank you <laughs>